Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Paradise Pier for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Convert this sleepy town's pier into a thriving attraction. Objective, to have at least 600 guests in your park at the end of October year two with a park rating of at least 600. So it's a very short scenario then. Uh, looks quite easy really from the outset with the objective. Um, let's see, it's free entry so you're going to be charging for the rides we've got we've got much in the way of gentle rides um, not much in the way of coasters even less in the way of thrill rides boats and some shops we haven't got a kiosk then so what i'm going to do then i'm going to go all in on shops and stalls until i get a kiosk and then as soon as i get a kiosk i am going to switch to thrill rides so let's see what we've got to build. Have we got any land we can buy? No. Obviously there is no land, so we can't buy it. We're uh, we're all at sea. Um, can we build on any rights? No, we can't see anything either. So um, what we can do then, let's have a look. If we take it off, pause. And let's build. Ah, there you go. So it looks like we can build up until it starts to drop off. Right. So what we could do is we, we could build, maybe give each quadrant a sort of a theme, build something like that, or we could just get rid of the paths altogether and just start afresh. And I think, I think to be honest, that's what we're going to do. It, it looks like quite an easy, straightforward scenario. So what I'll do then, I'll get rid of the paths and then I'll build down. And then what we'll do is we'll put the flat rides on the back and then we'll build some coasters then on the front maybe we can try off some new try out some new designs maybe maybe go through through them as well um so yeah i'm going to get rid of the paths and then i'm going to crack on building okay so i have left a square here the reason for that is because it won't let you i'm pressing now on the that square there it won't let me build on that bit there so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to there you go build down that way and then I'm going to I'm going to start my paths then somewhere around here and there you go so that is our path then done and with the exception of entrance pathing and exit pathing, we shouldn't really need any more than that. Um, so let's see, from this side, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got room uh, behind the path for about eight flat rides. And then in front of it, we've got room for probably another eight roller coasters. And for a park where you only need 600 guests and 600 rating that's more than enough so let's crack on building so i've just built two ferris wheels one going forwards one going backwards we haven't got a lot of rides to choose from at in the beginning so i'm just going to build what i've got and then later on as more rides unlock we can always we can always get rid of the, some of the ones that we don't want and replace them with better ones. We're into May then, I've just built a wild mouse. Uh, it's quite a simple design. I think we built one, uh, I believe I did a tutorial of this in the crazy castle scenario. But I'll just run you through it quickly. So you start off with the station, one, two, three, four, five. And then you've got a little bend 
and back. That's in order to create like a head, head chopper element later on. Then you go up steep then with a chain lift. And then we're going to straighten out. Then we're going to go down. And then again we flatten out. Then we curve. Flat. And then we've got a wide. I believe it's a wide turn is it? Yep. Yeah, wide turn. Then we go down. And then. Let's have a look. What have we got? And then a tight bend, flat, tight, another tight bend, flat, then it comes back round, and then down, down, flattens out. Right, let's put the entrance and exit in. And then from there then, so we go underneath that bit of track we built at the start where it bends. Oh, and I've run out of money. Hang on. There you go, borrowed another thousand. And then from there then, we curve up, go steep up, over the top, and then back down. tight bend and then back into the station we'll start that up save it just in case so both rides are now open they're mirror image of each other One's got slightly higher excitement than the other. So I, I'm wondering if that's because this one's closer to the drop off. I don't know, but um, that could be one reason. We've also just unlocked a pirate ship. So what we could do is we could, as they occupy the same amount of space as a Ferris wheel. So we could easily swap those out get rid of the ferris wheel and put a pirate ship in but we've got plenty of space this side so i'm just going to build them this side but if later we're running short of space we might move them over So we're into July. I've just started building a junior coaster around the back of my gentle rides. I've built the entrance and I've built the paths just to make sure that all that's done. So that way then I can just concentrate on putting the tracks wherever I can. Um, there'd be nothing worse than doing the ride and then finding out you can't, you haven't got enough room for, for the, the path in. So here's the junior coaster I've built. I started building something that came around the front here, but then I realized it's a junior coaster, build something the kids would want to go on. Um, so I just opted for something quick and simple at the back. So I'm gonna open that up. I've got my pink balloon stall at the front. So everyone, uh, oh, someone looked a bit scared of that. Okay, um, so I've just unlocked some looping coasters. Uh, this, there's tons of things we can do with those. Um, so I'm going to have a look now, see if there's any designs that, I, that I've been working on that would fit in well. And then maybe I can run through one with you as well. So it is September and I've built this loop-in coaster here. You might recognize it if you do watch any of my other videos. This is the one that I built a pair of these go in. Uh, with the Mobius coaster going through them on the Crumbly Woods video. So I'm going to show you how I built it. It's very simple. 
So we start off with the station, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we're gonna go up, steep, up, twist, back round, level off, and then we're gonna go down, and then you need to be turning away from the station. I believe we're always turning away from the station. Then back down straight, and then we're gonna go back up yep away from the station down down and then flat and then exactly the same thing in reverse and then finish off with on right photo section the only thing fiddly with this is where the paths will need to go. There's only certain places you can put the entrances. Have we got them lined up? Yes, I have. Okay. So then what we want to do then set it to powered launch. 45 miles per hour. And then before we test it, we save just in case. There you go. So whilst that's testing now we can do the theme in. It is October year one. We've got a year to go, but we've already done the objective. It won 600 guests, 600 rating. We got just under 800 guests and the rating is about 900 and something. So hopefully we can get that up to maximum before the end. Um, I think the only thing that's going to count against us is the, the, the fact that the park is really busy. So there might be a guest saying that there's uh, overcrowded. We've got a nice junior coaster over here. we got two wild mouse there and, uh, and some looping coasters bringing in the big bucks. Let's have a look at the throughput on that. Over 3,000 guests per hour. 3,700 guests per hour. When these are brand new you can easily charge £10. So we're into May. I've just finished building these swinging suspended roller coasters. Um, they're quite fiddly, fiddly to build. Um, so maybe I'll do a video, a separate video, showing these. It's hard to to see when you're building, trying to build one alongside the other. It's hard to see where it uh, where it goes in order to copy it. Um, It is October year two, just a few weeks away from the end of the scenario. The objective wanted 600 guests, 600 rating. We have got 1100 guests and a park rating of maximum. So we began the scenario by getting rid of all the existing paths. And then I built my favored um, four by four paving system right away from one side of the available space to the other. And from that then I built flat rides behind and then coasters in front. And then on the end then when I had some space I built a coaster. So we've got these two wild mouse rides here. And then we built a pair of looping coasters. And then here then we've got a pair of suspended coasters. Um, just behind here we've got a uh, junior coaster. There you go, one for the kids. And over in this corner then, um, just to fill up the space, we put a, a corkscrew in there. Reverse chain lift down around the corner, through the loop, four door, up and back. And then in this corner of the park then, just to fill up the space, I built a pair of, can't remember what they're called now, Virginia Reel Coasters. Um, nothing special, nothing fancy, not high ratings, but um, something for any guests who, who don't want anything too intense to go on. Um, just to help, uh, basically just to build something quite quick and to get the guests off the path. Um, there was a lot of complaints about overcrowding 
Um, let's have a look. How many? There you go. It's too crowded here. So by building an extra couple of rides like that uh, with fairly high throughput. There you go. 1,800 guests per hour on that one. Over 2,000 on that one. It just helps get a few more guests off the paths and hopefully um, stop people complaining that it's overcrowded. So just waiting for the end of the scenario then for all the guests to cheer and let go of their balloons um, it's always a good idea to have a quick check um, that you haven't got any dead spots that you haven't um, assigned a cleaner to that way you are, if you do that you, you'll have, you might have a mountain of sick and then because uh, you don't want to lose your rating right at the end so just a quick check there this is the last scenario on the second tier and um, playing them all through in order with a video and then um, so once we've done this then we can have a look at starting the third tier and we have completed the scenario put my name in Stu done fantastic now getting rid of the existing paths um, might feel i don't know is it a bit of a cop out i don't know it's such an easy scenario that i don't know whether it would have been more fun to play with the existing paths or not so i think it's such, as it's such a short scenario what i'll do is i'll play it again quickly um with the existing paths pile as many rides as i can in and then i won't show you the whole thing but i'll just show you the the finished park just to see what i've done and then i can use that as a comparison to what i've got here so what i've got is i've got a park rating of uh, 999 with 1100 guests in the park i've see paid back my loan i've got call it twenty one thousand in the bank and let's see how that compares to the park so by the miracle of modern technology let's see the new park so here's the park I built um, by keeping the existing path in. So I tried to cram as much as I could into each quadrant. So I started off in this corner. Um, so let's let's see what we got. We've got on the bottom is a car ride. We've got two observation towers, a carousel, um, a spiral slide, uh, a junior coaster and what have we got then we've got just over here we've got dodgems we've got a top spin and i've just put down this uh wild mouse there it's the same as the one we did in the other in the other version from there then i went on to this corner here so we've got a couple of 3d cinemas a couple of pirate ships a couple of um ferris wheels um uh, not popular and another top spin there then i went on to this corner here so we've got four different loops crossing over each other and then over here there oh there you go that's uh so it's asking me to type my name in so what that means is my uh park value on this park was higher than the park value of the one i did by getting rid of all the paths so put my name in again um so this way uh, when we've got this um uh corkscrew coaster and above it then we've got a junior coaster so um i haven't had time to finish off the section because we've got loads of space there in the green corner some space there in the blue corner um plus down the side there as well um I think I did make a note of how many rides we had. Um, so in the first park, I had eight coasters and then six other rides. In this park now, we've got nine coasters and 19 other rides. That's why the park value was so much higher. Um, other than that, the the money and, and everything else was fairly, fairly similar. I've got more guests in this one. It's over 1,200. The other one was over 1,100. Um, so that's fairly fairly similar park rating was maximum in both of them one thing i 
have done in this one is because I um, because I kept the paths what I did was I didn't bother zoning any staff I just hired a, a load I think I've got the same amount of staff but I haven't zoned any so I've just put them down and then um, hope for the best and it seems to have worked um, so there's a dead path there I did have another uh, observation tower but um, I wasn't able to connect the exit out so what I was doing I was using I put the exit over this exit here and then the guests were just falling out the door and landing on that one the only problem with that is when it broke down I had no way of getting a mechanic to it so I got rid of that but uh, yeah it's um, it's nice to see a um, a comparison of two different playing styles I suppose one is my usual of getting rid of things and and starting afresh and the other one then is playing uh, perhaps the way it was intended to um, this one I suppose it would uh, it would take a lot longer to complete the map to fill it completely um, the other one then it was I suppose a lot quicker much much easier I mean we, we passed the objective either way um, so it's not there's no issue with that so yeah so that's um, I think that was quite uh, quite a good um, exercise to do uh, I wouldn't have done it if it was a longer scenario but um, since this one is only two years and such an easy set of goals that um, there's no problem doing it um, so yeah that was Paradise Pier. I'm Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.